this crossword is for people who want that same jolt, that same like rush of finishing a puzzle. Not to be a two hour experience, but to be a two minute experience. The mini crossword speaks to our current culture in a way. Um, and I see them as a really fascinating reflection of what we deem our sort of shared knowledge. So as a puzzle maker, you just sort of want to try to find those words and test those things um, that allow people to kind of connect to culture. I started doing the mini uh, because my wife was doing it and it would always have that little sound and I was like, what's that? And then I was like, oh, this is a lot of fun. And um, that's how it began and now we do it pretty much every day. Yeah, I think it's like November. Um, I'd never done it before. I didn't even know it existed, really. And then like Declan started doing it and like I kind of picked it up from Declan. I do the mini during collab. We all go into the library. We get our library uh, computer, you know, we, get there, there's a lot of shouting at one another. And you have the link set up, NYT Mini, it takes you straight to the puzzle. There's no like dilly-dallying after you click the link. It's three, two, one, go, but so everyone clicks, clicks on one. one. Yeah. And then it like evolved into this kind of race, and then it, it, it is what it is today. It's just, it's just war. Hi, I'm Joel. I'm the digital crossroads editor for the New York Times. I am 24 years old. So one day, I think it was in chemistry class, uh, Miss Rangini, who was just, uh, just a bore, and so I made like a little 5x3 crossword. It was like I started out with board, and, and I was like, okay, I'm going to make a little crossword right now. Olive, I think, and then we had Eve, Olay, like, you know, Matador's Cry or whatever that thing. Uh, oh yeah, right, Rim, Boy, and then Yemen, and Den. And that was my first crossword I ever made. That's probably where I stopped being a normal person <laughs> who just does the crossword. I was like, yeah, well, somebody's got to make these. It's more of like a like a meditative process for me. It's certainly it's like part of my morning routine. It's not not a race. It's not the bloodbath that ensues the beginning of every yeah, collab. That's a good, that's a good way of describing it. Yeah. <laughs> Freshmen who are like on the long table and like that What's weird like couch area. Yeah. They'll look at you while you're doing the mini and they'll like, they'll recognize you. Yeah. They'll be like, wow, I want to be like him when I'm a senior. I, don't, I just don't know. I don't know why you're faster at that. It's just kind of annoying. There's something just really satisfying getting to completion um, more quickly. The mini is just like one angle basically, just like get, can you answer these questions correctly? And that was only because mm. I couldn't do any of the, the crosses. Ooh, the crosses, crosses are hard. Are really well, you got Jane Eyre. Yeah, but I couldn't get any of the other ones. I had to do them all down. Like talking loudly on your phone on the train. Rude? Yes. yes. The final thing is writing the clues. That's when you can kind of like really introduce your own flair to it. In my case, introduce more modern references or um, things that haven't been mentioned in a crossword before. I think I was the first person to use YOLO. I was proud of that, now I feel a little weird about it. Try to see if there's anything interesting I could put in the puzzle. So I look for things that are five letters or less. You know, I can't use Ahmadinejad or something as much as I would like to. I have to go for things like James Comey or uh, Obama has been a godsend because he's got a lot of vowels and he's five letters and he's always in the news. I, I guess top, I was just like, it's oh, gotta be top. What, other, what else could it be? Banana top? No, top, top banana, banana, top brass. Who says That's top banana? That? That's not a Who thing. says top banana? Top banana is not a thing. That was kind of a stupid crossword. Sometimes they suck. Yeah. I like to just get it out there. You hit up. Hit up. Give a call. Hit up. Ah. 30 seconds too long. You, you gotta get in the 20s. Uh, yeah. Uh, 30 isn't bad. There, it depends. Depends on the day. It depends on the day. It there there the are day. days where like a minute is good. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's an article here called Far Right in France Woos the Voters It Once Repelled. So I could do something with right. Far. And then right. This actually works out pretty well. Okay, so why don't we try this? We probably want this to be a consonant and that to be a vowel. But let's see. So this could be like dogma. That's not bad. 
it's a good word. Oh, and then this can, this can be fade. Okay, so this is coming together pretty well. Uh, we basically so far have fade, a lot, far right, which is interesting, and dogma. So all good words so far. But I think really the ultimate thing to say about what makes a good crossword is that it should make the solver feel really smart. Alright. I don't like this. No weekends. No never, weekends. Never weekends. I think that's a little that's a little disgraceful. Too. Yeah. Yeah. 29 seconds. It's nothing. It's nothing. And sound has to be all the way up because the, the little jingle at the end is the most rewarding part of winning. I would say I have to agree with that part. Yeah. That the jingle at the end. I think that's truly a special jingle in the world of tunes that happen when you complete something. So hi, it's, I mean, it's, that's the best way of describing it. <laughs> At the very end of a puzzle, when you fill in that last letter, I mean, that's the, like, the best feeling. You start with this empty grid, it looks imposing, you're like, I'm not sure if I can do this. And then at the end, when you fill in that last letter, you like, it's just a very contained, neat, um, fulfilling experience. Three, two, one. We start on one? Yes, you start on one. We go to our office, we have these kind of complicated uh, problems that you can't resolve really neatly or take a long time or are unsatisfactory in some way. What a puzzle provides is just the chance to sort of like summit a little mountain every day. Basically start at the bottom, have nothing, and then at the end you've achieved something, you've accomplished something. And I think humans really crave that in lots of ways in our lives we seek out things that will give us that sort of fulfillment. There's no way. I don't know that one. <laughs> this is a hard one. No! It's fun to you. Ah, uh, I... And it's just like, it's kind of an art. You know, it's, it's an art. It's like, it's like track, you know. You know, it's like uh, Usain Bolt, you know, it's, it's art watching him just like you know, some great puzzlers that start watching them sprint. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> no, no.